I'm the small town tourist and I'm here in Nottaberg, Arizona, AKA Whitman, Arizona. I am actually in front of the Nottaberg Little Red Schoolhouse. This schoolhouse was built in 1921 and it actually was impacted by a fire in 1929. So Nottaberg is, has an interesting history. It's actually now known as Whitman, Arizona. Now the history of Nottaberg, where it got its name is kind of cool. Nada in Spanish means nothing. Berg in German means town. So the name means nothing town. There was nothing here when it was originally founded. So a family that was led by Joseph Whitman, he came to this town and what he was gonna do was he was gonna build a dam on the local river here so that this dam then would fill up with a reservoir and they could use that water to irrigate the farms out here. So they actually decided to change the name from Nottaberg to Whitman after Joseph Whitman. However, his plans never came to fruition. He was never able to build the dam. So it's interesting because people gave up their property willingly in order for this reservoir to be constructed. But what they had to do after Whitman was unable to build this dam and build this reservoir, they had to sue in order to get their property back, which they were able to do. So that's pretty interesting. Now I've been around town. There's not a whole lot here. There's a couple churches. Uh, I'm actually facing a church right now. It's the Whitman Assembly of God Church. And uh, there's other churches in town. There's a, there's a Dollar General and uh, a, a post office and a small like grocery store type thing. What's interesting about this town is as you drive through the residential areas in Whitman or Nottaberg, there's very nice homes right next to homes that are very dilapidated. It's an interesting dichotomy. It has a population of about 700 and some people based on the, the most recent census, but it is dwindling in population year after year at about a rate of 1.2%. So that's a pretty big drop. I got to talk to one of the local guys. Uh, he was out with a friend and they were playing horseshoes in the parking lot. And I asked them to kind of share history of Whitman. And uh, his response was, there's really nothing that you want to know about Whitman. There's nothing really good about Whitman. And that kind of is depressing because to live in a place, he said that he was born and raised here, to be born and raised in a town and have absolutely nothing, I guess, good or positive to say about your town is kind of sad. Overall, doesn't seem, uh, it seems to be a pretty poor town, but it looks like there's a lot of people that are trying to build or rebuild their homes to make their, their town nice. So I didn't get an opportunity to talk to anybody local here. That's the story, that's Whitman, Arizona, what once used to be Nottaberg. Thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, make sure you get off the freeways and the interstates and go visit small town America.